Hello. In today's video, we're going to look at making some polygons. Um, just a little function to create regular polygons. And to make it a bit more fun, I've done this little visualization showing polygons as we're creating them. So let's get started. I'm going to want to make a little visualization in Pygame, so we can import Pygame. We're going to need to use math uh, just for the cosine and sine uh, functions from exit and then let's just define this function we'll get that out of the way it's nice and simple and if this is all you want it's done super fast so create polygon you take a point which will be the center point of the polygon you want to create uh, the number of sides that you want and the distance between the center point and the points that are going to form those um, uh, the corners between the sides and we'll take a value called angle which will just be equal to 360 divided by the sides and we'll convert it into um, radians just by timesing it by pi over 180 so really easy conversion um, and we're using pi from math the uh, math function Bob and points equal an empty list so what we want to do is fill this set of points and then we just return all those points and we can use them to draw some nice lines in Pygame but effectively if this was all you wanted those points would be the uh, indices of the the node positions of your regular polygon so for I in range 0 to sides um, and that will go up to the number of sides because bear in mind you don't normally count the sides from zero you count them from one so the fact that we're going up to sides minus one values is absolutely fine x is equal to point zero so what we do is we're we're basically using uh, the cosine function to find our x and the sine function to find our um, y value so we're using each of these each of these points I, I normally pass them as a tuple an x y tuple um, so that's why I'm pulling out the x value is at zero the index zero and the y is at uh, index one plus the distance times math dot sine angle so we can return it as uh, no we want don't want to return it yet we want to go points append x comma y and return points lovely that should literally just return a set of points for each of the corners of a regular polygon with x number of sides or n number of sides sorry so let's make a quick visualization of this. Width equals 400, height equals 400. This is just a Pi game setup. I'm not going to go into detail about it. Whenever I use Pi game, I pretty much do the same thing for my setup. So there's nothing particularly exciting or, or novel in this bit. It's just nice to get it done quickly. And we'll initiate a clock because we'll actually just use that to change our image when we want to. And we'll just have a super simple background. Uh, da, 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 da. And we'll probably make it like black or really dark grey. With an RGB, but we'll just keep it something like that. Oh. I'm missing a comma, am I? No, just an extra space. There. Okay, and then I'm going to use this center point, which I'm just going to describe. And because it's a 400 by 400 window, I'm just going to have my center as 200, 200. And I'm going to say that I want the distance to each of the points to be 150. So we're getting a nice sort of fill 
on this uh, in, in this window of the size of the, the um, polygon and then number of the sides I'll just start with three you know make a triangle let's see if we can do that and then we'll work our way up and uh, we'll keep this value I used this when I was testing it and it's a nice we can do something quite pretty with it but we, we won't use it straight away and we'll say while true this is just so that we can um, close the pie game window with the quit or the exit button. So let's let's just have a look. So this while loop is where we're executing all the pie game stuff, and it's just a visualization tool. I know it's it's primarily for games, but I quite like using it for doing quick and dirty uh, visualizations. So we'll just. Uh, show the background surface which we use blit it's just a basic command um, and we'll what you do sorry is you put your surface you blitz your surface so it puts your surface on the screen and you use a tuple to describe the x y position of where you would like it the corner of it to be now pi games a bit strange it's x y coordinates works not opposite but the zero zero is at the top left hand corner Whereas normally we're used to thinking of zero zero being at the bottom left hand corner in a, in a graph. So it's a little bit tricky to get our heads around that, but everything works the other way. So <laughs> the higher the Y value, the further down you go. Um, we'll have a look at how that, how that works in a moment. Um, and then we'll use our shape, uh, sorry, we'll use our create polygon to define a shape where we've got the center, that's our point, the number of sides, what number of sides I do? I want it to be plural, because we're always gonna have more than one. It's not very easy to draw a polygon with one side. And shape distance. And then what do we want to do? We want to draw the points this is just using Pygame functions for index point enumerate uh, shape. So we're unpicking those points that we got out of it because it'll give us a, basically when the create polygon is finished, it returns that set of points which dis defines each of those corners. And I've just put that into something called shape. And so shape is a list that we can enumerate to get the index and the point. So what we can do is we can say pygame.draw.line and it will draw it on the screen. Uh, we'll have it in a nice light color, like not quite white, but, but a, like a really light gray. And we'll draw the point and we need to have well, you need to have two points, so we'll draw the present point to the in the previous index. And shape index minus one. I just want to put in the update function. So pygame dot display dot update and clock tick. Uh, we'll only do it two times a second. We're not we're not trying to get like high frame rates or anything like that. And we'll run that uh, create polygons.py. Lovely. So it's just Python create polygons.py. And we'll see what happens. I wouldn't be surprised if there's an error. <clears throat> oh no! There we go. So we got a triangle. Seems fine. Yeah. Okay, let's just try making a pentagon. So we'll do five. Close this, close this down. Oh, sorry, I just changed this to five. And we'll run it again. Okay, yep, yeah, that's working nicely. So you can easily, I mean, we can do something silly. I don't know. When you start to do them too, too big, you 
you lose a bit of uh, resolution. So 20, I, it might just start to look like a circle. No, no, you can, you can see. Uh, that's nice. Okay, so that's working really nicely. Well, let's add a little bit of animation into this. And that was done with this addition. So where am I? That was done with this addition here. So you might have been like, okay, well, why on earth are we, why on earth are we calling this here, rather than calling it just just once? Because each time we're cycling through this while loop, we're calling our function to create the shape, and it's staying the same. And you're quite right. We should have just popped it up here and had it here outside, so we didn't need to keep calling it. But I want to do a little bit of animation with this where we can see it changing. So what we can do is add, we can have it going back and forwards. So we can say if number sides is, great, uh, is greater than 10, uh, let's make it like 15 or something like that, then addition is equal to minus 1. L, uh, oh, uh, elif number sides is less than four, addition is equal to one. And then we can do number sides plus equal addition. So we're basically changing this value here within this to en enable us to have a different shape. So let's start it as a triangle just putting that to three and let's run this and see what we get and there we have it nice little animation of the polygon generator they're all regular polygons we can explore potentially some asymmetric or non-regular or irregular polygons but I just thought this was a nice little function to create those. I have a little bit of a maths puzzle in mind with this project anyway, and I thought I'd share it. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you aren't, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what kind of things you're interested in, because I always find that fascinating. Coding can be used for so many things, and it really is amazing what you can create just with a computer and a few lines of code. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.